Hi, my name is Eliza and I'm a tutor at Formula Botanica. I want to welcome you to my lab and give you tips of what makes a workspace great. Hello everyone, my name is Brooke and I'm the formulation tutor here at Formula Botanica and welcome to my home lab. Hello, this is Barbara from Formula Botanica and today I would like to show you my lab where I work, where I formulate, where I take a break from my kids. When I first started to learn how to formulate, I did the experiments in my kitchen. I cleared just about the size of this workspace on my kitchen counter. As many of our students, I started in my kitchen, only having a few boxes of ingredients, and I was even reusing old jars from cosmetics that I had used before, or my friends brought me. And the budget was very tight because I was back then on maternity leave, so I believe many of you can relate. You don't necessarily need to have a big fancy space with loads of mixers and massive storage units to be able to learn to formulate. This is all you need. Now, before I start to formulate, I have to ensure that my workspace area and the equipments that I use are properly clean and sanitised. I follow the Good Manufacturing Practice Guide, or what we call GMP Guide, that is set out by the authority in my country. And then before I formulate, I will use a normal household spray cleaner and just spray down the surfaces to make sure I'm getting rid of any residue from oils or surfactants or anything like that. And then to disinfect it, I will use again my 70% alcohol solution. So you just spray them so it's a nice fine mist and I will leave it to evaporate off. I do the same by spraying all my clean equipments with 70% isopropyl alcohol and I leave them to dry. I do this at least an hour before I start to formulate. I try to stick to the GMP or good manufacturing practice by always wearing protective gloves. I always have my Formula Botanica apron, which also gives me the mood for formulating. I have disposable gloves. These are neutral gloves. And I have a protective eyewear. These are my must-haves in my lab. As you can see, I have my beaker, pH strips, thermometer, a jewellery scale, glass rods, pipette, mini whisk, spatula and the containers to house your products in. The things I can't formulate without in this space would definitely be my scales, my mini whisk and my glass rod. You need them for everything really. Thank you for taking the time to look at my lab. I hope you have found some inspiration to go and create your own lab. I just want to encourage you that you don't really need much space for a start. You just need the good mood and the zeal and I hope the rest will come. You really don't need a big professional space to be able to learn to formulate or even to formulate more, a little bit more professionally. Remember, everyone's lab is different. You do not need any expensive equipment or fancy stuff and keep your ingredients simple when you first start to learn how to formulate. We are looking forward to welcome you to the Formula Botanicus family. Have a wonderful day.